Hi hey everyone, this is Akiva from Twisted Tree Farm. Looking at American Beech today. It's a very easy tree to identify, even for uh, people just starting out. And uh, so some of the really obvious features are, it has very smooth gray bark. Um, you can see pretty much uh, all these stems right in front of me are uh, all American Beech. And so it does have that very uh, whitish, uh, smooth bark. When they get big and old, it, it's, it's really beautiful. Uh, but usually they get beech bark disease, which I'll talk about in a second. But first, let's do some identification. Uh, so here's the buds of American beech. I don't know how well it shows up, but that is one pointy bud. I mean, it's almost like a little spear tip. And uh, so that's, that's American beech, has those spear tipped buds. They're, they're actually pretty sharp if you like po poke your uh, thumb against them or your hand against them. And, uh, or, or your eye. Um, so the buds are pointy and spear shaped and then the leaves are really simple. They're just these these ovals and right now it's winter. It's, uh, geez, it's the end of January and uh, the leaves can be uh, can hang on the tree for almost the whole winter especially on the lower branches. It's not so much uh, up high, but down low, they, they really retain their leaves. So if we look closely at the leaves, it, it's really, uh, it's really uh, pretty easy. They have a vein. Uh, every vein goes to a little point, a little tip. Every vein ends in a tip, and they're all just these straight parallel lines. I mean, they're as straight as railroad tracks, and each, each line, each vein is going to end in a little tip on the edge of the leaf. So that's uh, American beech at a glance. Uh, the buds and the leaves and the smooth gray bark should be uh, enough to identify it. There's not a lot of trees to confuse it with. Sometimes people confuse mature um, beeches. Uh, they'll think they can mistake it for uh, red maples. Red maples can also have a very smooth gray bark, but, but red maples will not have buds or leaves anything like a beech. Um, so American beech is an incredible tree. It, it is one of the dominant trees of the Northeast hardwood forests. It can become as massive as any oak or maple. They can live for a very, very long time. In fact, I think they might be one of the oldest uh, trees in our area. And uh, here's, here's what's really happening to them though. They're getting this uh, disease called beech bark disease. See that trunk there with all that modeling uh, broken up? bits that's beech bark disease just getting started on this tree and it's going to kill that stem uh, for sure this b disease was introduced accidentally in the 70s um, so what's going to happen when that stem dies is uh, the root system is not going to die and you're going to have suckers all over all these little stems here again, all of these all of these stems are just root suckers. If, if you dig down, you can see it's all connected. In fact, almost all of these beech trees are the same root system. And so beech forms thickets. And some beech thickets can be so thick and so dense that you have to crawl to, just to get through them. And uh, foresters, people who are uh, managing woodlots for, for lumber, they cannot, this tree is a real uh, nuisance to them uh, because they get this disease and then you get lots of little stems and no good uh, saw logs. But if you're just interested in wildlife or craft wood or firewood or shiitake log production, then beech is the way to go. A beech thicket can produce so many stems. They're excellent for growing shiitakes on. Uh, it's a great firewood. It's just as hard as oak. Um, it doesn't, uh, it's not durable in contact with the soil. It rots pretty fast, but if you're just cutting it and drying it and using it, uh, then it's it's great great stuff very high BTU value and for wildlife beech is uh, is a really excellent component of the forest it produces beech nuts which I think I looked at in another video and uh, beech nuts are just these small kernels they taste amazing they're like little pine nuts here's a here's an old husk of one um, that the nuts fell out of in the fall and they come out in these two little triangles and if you ever have the chance to eat beech nuts it is an absolute treat but American beech is also an incredibly shade tolerant tree you can get a sense of which trees are shade tolerant by looking at uh, which trees retain their lower branches so if you look over at the white pine it has that yellow posted sign on it it's dropped all its branches all the way it doesn't even make a green branch till about you know 40 30 40 feet up and that's because the 
it has no shade tolerance. So those leaves and or needles uh, near the ba base, they're not getting enough light, and they drop them. Right? And that's very important ecologically because what that does is it allows a lot of light to penetrate to the forest floor and other seedlings come in. Now with American beech, it's the opposite. They do not uh, lose lower branches very easily. They're super shade tolerant. They can hang out in the, sh in the understory for, for decades, probably longer. And uh, they will just s sit in the understory uh, making s suckers and spreading clonally through, through uh, rhizomes. And then... Uh, if the forest canopy ever opens up, bam, they just shoot right to the sky and they'll grow pretty fast. Um, and that is the reason that in the older forests of the Northeast, they're pretty much dominated by hemlock and beech because those are the two most shade tolerant species we have. And uh, beech is, it's gonna, if you never uh, cut anything, beech is gonna be there. If you already have beech and you cut everything, beech is gonna be there. It's one tenacious tree. It's extremely drought tolerant. It de doesn't really grow in bottomlands. It does really well up on uh, ridge lines and uh, dry, high dry sites, which is uh, where I'm at right now. But American beech is a very underappreciated, uh, wonderful tree that I hope, uh, hope I've shared something with you that helps you appreciate this uh, amazing gift of the forest. Thank you.